The High Plains Snow Goose Festival is a great place for birders of all experience and ages. Whether you're a veteran birder or if you've never seen a bird, it is an awesome opportunity to get out and experience southeastern Colorado. Complete range of experience. Some people who come out and say, I've never really seen a bird before. Do you think we'll go out and see a bird? And other people who have been coming to this part of Colorado or to the, the Southwest in general for decades looking at birds. Regional, local, you know, but I know some people come from Kansas and Nebraska and Colorado, like up Denver Front Range. A lot of people from Denver in the Front Range, um, they'll come up from Texas too. And I'm sure there's some that travel in a little bit farther. While at the Snow Goose Festival, there are lots of opportunities to see all kinds of wildlife. Snow geese uh, being a, a large number of big white geese with black in their wings are very uh, much a spectacle and it's exciting to see that many geese at one time. This is a natural flyway. You know, you see different birds flying north, south, all times of the year. Several varieties of deer. We, if we're lucky, we see elk, um, bighorn sheep, and lots of turkeys as well as it's a great place to bird. Probably the best kept secret staying right here looking for birds. We have over 400 species that either live here year round or come in and out during migratory season. So how can you beat that? The festival hosts a wide range of activities for attendees, offering everyone a chance to enjoy their time in Southeast Colorado. We have two tours, uh, all day tours tomorrow and uh, one's going to South Canyon area, Carrizal Canyon, uh, Crack Cave Canyon, they call it different things, Painted Canyon. And we have a really good tour guide for that, uh, the lady that lives down in that area, she knows it intimately. And then uh, Pat Palmer, he's our local historian here. He's leading a tour to Vince Fort, Vince Old Fort, and um, Vogsville. Out here, next to us here, we'll have a kind of an arts and crafts fair. We have a big silent auction all day Saturday. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff you can get there. We'll have a gentleman named Lex Nichols. He's from Rocky Ford. He's, a, he's an accomplished uh, photographer, musician, and he has two daughters that um, play with him and they, they do a wonderful job. He plays flute and um, Indian Native American flute music. Sunday morning is our last big deal. And we have, I think they call it the bacon tour, but uh, we get up very early, I think it's like 5.15, and we go out and we try to catch the yeast before they lift off the water. People come from all walks of life to the Snow Goose Festival for the common interest of the outdoors and seeing birds. You know, once you're around these people, you kind of get excited about it and you learn little bits and pieces here and there. It's a lifelong hobby. I mean, you start when you're young, you can do it till you die, and it's just a great way to get out, enjoy nature, and learn about the natural world. I have more interest in birds in the last few months than I ever had in my whole life. Some of the most thrilling and exciting things to be seen to be marveled at are right in our own backyards. We're not going to have the big shows Denver has and everything else, but you're not going to see the geese, you're not going to see the wildlife. If you want to come see what Colorado was and still is in a lot of areas, this is a good area to come see.